Vatican City will see history made this Sunday when two popes become saints at the same time. That's right, Stephen Clark is here with a look at what is being done. Stephen? A lot of history in the making here. Popes John Paul II and John XXIII will become the 79th and 80th heads of the Roman Catholic Church to become saints. History will be made on Sunday at the Vatican. The canonization of two popes is a really big deal. Pope John Paul II and Pope John XXIII, both highly influential leaders of the Catholic Church in the 20th century, now poised to become saints. Crowds have already gathered in St. Peter's Square. Up to a million pilgrims are expected to flock to Rome this weekend to celebrate and witness this major moment firsthand. Pope John Paul II will reach sainthood less than a decade after death, an unusually quick canonization that was fast-tracked by his successor, Pope Benedict XVI. At John Paul's funeral in 2005, the faithful chanted, Santo Subito, sainthood now. John Paul, the one that most people are familiar with, really, uh, I think, changed the face of the world, uh, particularly uh, through his uh, influence in the downfall of communism. But his canonization is not without controversy, especially among the many victims of sexual abuse by priests. His defenders say the scandal reached him late in life when he was already in bad health. The Pope was not living this crisis in real time as we were in the U.S. Pope John XXIII was called the Peasant Pope. He called the Vatican II Council that sparked significant change and ushered the Catholic Church into a new era. John XXIII was just as influential. He called the the great modernizing council, the Second Vatican Council uh, in the 1960s. So this Sunday truly is a day for history, but two popes becoming saints, just one part of that story. Two popes will also be there for it, both Francis and Benedict on hand for the canonization. Jeff? Yeah, Stephen, thank you very much. <laughs>